So the new ChatGPT canvas is out and it's actually pretty great with SEO and article writing, even though it is meant to be used for coding. Just take a look at this article. This is written by ChatGPT canvas. Look at the formatting, internal links, relevant emojis, tables, another table, custom graphics. Look at that. Nice length, but what I like about it is if we go to Hemingway, this is grade 2 readability. If we go to Zero GPT, this is 64% human, which is extremely high for ChatGPT. And if we test it with NeuronWriter, it's actually 71 SEO score, which is amazing. And in this video, I will teach you step by step how to write such an article for free with the use of ChatGPT Canvas. So now guys, when you log in into ChatGPT, you get this option here, GPT 4.0 with Canvas. And what I'll do, I'll grab this little prompt, use markdown formatting, simple English to 100% match flash king k 6th to 8th grade reading level, bolded words, lists and tables to write a 1500 word article about AI impact on jobs. This is going to be our step one. And as you can see, this is now looking largely different. So we have a canvas, which you can see your article on. And on the left hand side, you have a sidebar with commands and prompts. And this is a nice looking little article. Let's just measure the word count for now. That's going to be important later. And this is actually almost 1400 words, which is amazing for ChatGPT, which is known for producing shorter copies. Okay. Now there is a couple of ways you can do. And basically Canvas acts as your SEO optimization slash AI editor. So if you click on this pencil icon here, you have a few options and we will go over them one by one. First, you can add emojis and this pencil thingy applies everything to the article as a whole as opposed to section by section and I will show how to do that in a few minutes. So as you can see, this is applying relevant emojis. This may be too much, <laughs> at least to my liking, but still this works. Okay, next, what you can do is correct the length. So it was uh, 1400 before. Let's choose the longest as opposed to shortest. And what I like about it, it saves the gist of what it's written. And if you were to just apply the emojis and you would have noticed that, that it doesn't change the text. So it will largely retain the original meaning and make it longer. And with the longer article, emojis look much better than with the shorter one. And I'll look at that, the future of jobs with AI. <laughs> That's pretty neat. So let's see what our new word count is. And this almost doubled. So it's 2300 words. Wow. So now what you can do and what you should do if you are interested in bypassing any detection is go in readability level. And you have the same lever going from graduate school to kindergarten. So let's use kindergarten. And if you read it carefully, it's not dumb. Yes, it's a reason using simple English, but it's not dumbed down to the point that you cannot read it. It's pretty good. And look at the formatting. So it's got lists and tables and everything. Okay. Now for the final touch, what you can do is go polish, add final polish. What this will do is check grammar, structure and flow and just make everything better. And it's doing a very thorough job. So it's not a one second output. It's going section by section. I added some final polish and checked for grammar consistency to ensure the text reads smoothly. Let me know if there is anything else you'd like to adjust. So let's copy the final output and let's check the readability level. So the readability level is that of grade four. Let's check AI detection. And the AI detection is actually 78% human. So this is only 22% AI, which is amazing for ChatGPT. Now, if you wanted to go one step further, you could add internal links. Now I don't have relevant internal links for this niche. So I'll have to use the links from my AI detection website. So now I'm going to use a very simple but effective prompt. Add three, five relevant links to the article using semantically relevant rich anchor text, only use anchor text that is highly relevant, do not suggest other links outside of the list. And as you can see, it's rewritten the article with relevant anchor text in few places. Again, they're, in this example here, they're not going to be 100% relevant because they are not. But this is just to show the capabilities. And as a final touch, what you could do Let's go to a tool like NeuroWriter. Let's paste this in with our internal links. Let's see what def the default SEO score is going to be. And let me do some minor tweaking. So let me change the title. And what you can do, 
is go not used. Then copy the terms. Go rewrite the article by adding the below terms. Okay, so we are rewriting the article. And let's see if we have managed to improve our SEO score. I've updated the article to include the requested terms, integrating them throughout to make the content more comprehensive. Okay, so once again, the previous score was 45. And now it's an astounding 80. So we just, again, almost doubled our score. We went from 45 to 80. Let's see if we have decreased our readability too much. It was grade 4 before. And it's still grade 4. Amazing, amazing. Let's check the A detection. Has it become worse? And it's actually improved. So <laughs> your text is like a human, guys. So this is ChatGPT. Amazing. Okay, now I promise to uh, show you another use case. So if you're not happy with uh, certain paragraphs, so for example, I don't like this intro, you can go ask ChatGPT and type in your prompt, or you can click on this plus sign and do the same. So make more engaging with a call to action. And as you can see, ChatGPT has rewritten this section. And I'm not sure I'm liking the call to action, but this was a simplistic prompt. Uh, you could have said something along the lines of rewrite this uh, using the PAS formula or any other copywriting formulas that you want. And also what you can do, you can obviously go make it shorter, make it longer, SEO optimize it, delete it. You can also try to apply something to the whole article by writing it here. Okay, now for some reason I cannot create a diagram, but let me, maybe it's a glitch because this is a beta. But what I was able to do is here and let me show you the prompt and this was the prompt use vanilla js html and inline css to add a colorful diagram depicting docs weight and serving sizes and this was the response and it looked like this so pretty pretty amazing stuff once again we've uh, created a very readable highly human highly seo optimized article with custom graphics and i haven't seen anyone talk about this kind of applications of the canvas hope this was helpful i love you guys i appreciate you guys and i'll see you next time cheers